Bobbin quickly to Sullivan. Aim for McGarvey. That's too long there. Tommy Burns. And the cross came over. He tried to control it instead of the first time clearance. The ball broke from him. And Peter McCloy had no chance of stopping that shot. Tom McAdam breaks now to Sullivan. Redford getting back. Robin. Sullivan. Charlie Nicholas gets his first goal against Rangers. Look at the delight in his face. Ten minutes of the second half gone. Charlie Nicholas gets his 23rd goal of the season and the Celtic fans go wild. A goal made by that forcing run from Sullivan. He got the ball wide to Proven. The driven cut back. Controlled by Sullivan and brought to Nicholas. And there's the finishing which makes this youngster such hot property. Robin's headed on. That's Nicholas towards McGarvey. Miller there up. Here's Nicholas. 2-1 to Celtic. Charlie Nicholas puts Celtic ahead. With 17 minutes left to play. The long ball from deep. Colin Jackson misjudged the bounce. Coleman put it on. Then it was between Nicholas and McGarvey to create the space. And eventually Nicholas gets the chance for that. But right foot shot. And he's very much a Celtic hero. Nicholas into space. Roy Aiken is there with Jordan. Aiken is one of the as McGarvey in the box. And Roy Aiken does it all by himself. Well, that surely clinches the match for Celtic with just three minutes left. Roy Aiken showing his tremendous strength and pace and fitness coming from the back. Outstripping Jordan for that clearance from Nicholas. Taking it forward, trying to find McGarvey with a square ball. It comes back off Colin Jackson and look at the finish from Aiken. Not the goalkeeper. Beautifully brought that out. Robin, he has Dawson with him. Neatly inside, he wants the return. Here's Jackson, Robin coming up on it. It's a goal by Nicholas. Charlie Nicholas opens a scoring for Celtic. 11 minutes of the second half gone as the Celtic end erupts. And I would hold responsible for that Davy Proven on the right. Taking that ball, pushing it forward, driving it in it, and really catching the Rangers defence stranded. And Nicholas stepping in and ever so coolly sweeping it away. It's curling again, there's a free header, and that's it this time. For Cannon. one nothing for Celtic. Jubilation at the Celtic end, 11 minutes gone, and the warning that McCannum had given previously was not heeded by the Rangers defence. Over it went, that beautiful ball, and there he was, in isolation, and this time McCloy had no chance. David Proven is there, so is Sullivan, there's Bob the McLeod is there, to nothing, great shot by McLeod, four minutes remaining, as sweet as you like, the ball slipped to the side, and look at the way he rocketed it in, McLeod with no chance. In for Moyes. And McCoy in trouble, the ball is in the net. And the ricochet is Tom McAdam taking the credit. The unhappy 
figure of Peter McCloy and Celtic get a dream start. The corner kick on the right from Davy Proven. Moyes found space about 16 yards out, a firm header. Appeared to take a ricochet, McCannum went for it with McCloy and it was he who apparently got the final touch. On by Sullivan. Proven with room to run at the Rangers defence. Moyes on the overlap, he's made up a lot of ground. That's a good cross, there's Brink McGarvey! 2-1 to Celtic. Frank McGarvey scores his 10th goal of the season with 11 minutes on the clock and Celtic regain the lead. Now this was a superb goal for Celtic. The build-up on the right, quite magnificent. Proven going on the run. Jackson closing him down, but Moyes had started it all deep in his own half, continuing the overlapping run. The cross was perfection, and so was the header from Frank McGarvey. Conroy coming into the near post, the deflection almost catching McCloy out. Good save from the keeper. Robbins kick, there's Moyes. Murder McLeod. And now the jubilation. scores his ninth goal of the season and we're back to all square and once again it was a high cross ball which caused the trouble the corner kick from Davy Proven headed down by Moyes and the most decisive of finishes from Murder McLeod Burns. Sullivan making a very long run behind Dawson as for McAdam squeezed in by Craney and that's an amazing opening goal Danny Craney delighted Jim Stewart disconsolate so 90 seconds on the clock and Celtic with their first full attack go in front a good build up starting from Mark Reed in the left back position forward to Tommy Burns Burns carrying it forward finding Sullivan making a great run beyond Ali Dawson the shot driven towards the far post, Stewart couldn't hold it, and there was Craney to force home only his second first team goal. Okay. Tackled by McClellan. In fact, the first tackle from McClellan being penalised by the referee. It gives David Moyes a chance to come up. Burns will take it. Looping it in. The header from McAdam. And Celtic go two up. Well, that all looked very simple indeed. No wonder these Celtic players are so jubilant. Well, McAdam gets his fourth of the season. And the first three came when he played at centre half. It was the simplest of free kicks from the left. Burns took it. Moyes made the run from the far post, took the Rangers defence with him, allowed the ball to float to the far post, and there was McAdam to head it home, completely unmolested. And it comes. Great tackle by Paul McStay. Bowman playing it through the middle. The Rangers defence has an inning. Here's a great chance for Murder McLeod. McStay following up. Paul McStay in his first all match makes it one apiece. Well, the ball for Martin McLeod, the chase through the middle of the Rangers defence has any. Jim Stewart did well spinning himself initially. The ball breaking free, and there goes Paul McStay to pick up his fourth goal of the season. Well, young Paul McStay, the youngest player of field makes it 1-1 and we still have only had 19 minutes touched on by Nicholas we almost get a vital touch Sinclair showing his menace in the air stay so determined perfect chance for McGarvey
supporters now are jubilant. They can sense the possibility of victory. Here's McGarvey, Nicholas on the halfway line. Oh, Nicholas dummying McKinnon. Playing it now for McLeod, a great chance for Celtic. Martin McLeod, 3-2 to Celtic. Celtic and that's a goal. Nicholas has done it. One nothing for Celtic. 23 minutes gone, and that is how sharp the Celtic attack can be. To the delight of the ring, Southern Celtic supporters, Celtic have gone into the lead in a move that always seemed to me would come from the right penetrating the Rangers defence as he backtracked and Nicholas out of nothing almost showing how deadly he can finish now well, there's a kind of green curtain over Hamden now and I'm not sure if the Rangers supporters can see through that fog well I think that's the smoke of triumph somebody has uh, one of these players in there with colours there's also one down at the Rangers end Problem to take it. Second chance. McClellan down. And that's it. Mother McLeod, number two. Brilliantly struck by McLeod. 31 minutes gone. Celtic two up. And even though they may be suffering imminent pneumonia on the terracings there, the dancing and the singing for an emphatic Celtic goal. So cleanly struck by McLeod. Down it went to him. And the sheer efficiency of that was well beyond the reach of Jim Stewart. And Rangers are really up against it. So Celtic edging forward very slowly. They have five men in the penalty area. McStay, brilliant goal. Crisply hit him. one nothing for Celtic. 15 minutes gone. And the youngster took advantage of a rather stranded-looking Rangers defence. And as they stood there rather leadenly, he ran in and punish them. one nothing, and you got the feeling that that goal was going to come. Into Nicholas who ran very intelligently in. He's aiming for goal himself this time. And a brilliant goal. Superb goal by Nicholas. 25 minutes of the second half gone. And we'll have a look at this. You got the impression he had made up his mind that if Celtic were going to score at all, that he was a man to do it. He didn't want any support. He went on his own. And that is the most glorious finish. It's above and a brilliant move. Luckily indicating a penalty, I think, for that challenge. Carson doesn't like it. Mr McGinley is adamant it's a penalty kick. Coven making ground, forcing his way through, chips it sideways. A flick forward by McStay. Coven trying to collect at a turn pass. Brought down. Penalty kick, says Mr McGinley. Peter McCoy facing Charlie Nicholas. 2-1. Beautifully struck away by Nicholas. There's Nicholas. One-footing McCoy. 
the corner of the net, perfectly struck kick. Aiken and McKinnon at the post. Forward with a floater, biting a back header. It's in! McAdam scores. Forward, Aiken, McAdam, goal, 2 2. the move, the near post corner from Proven, quoted in, Aiken up, wins it well, Akada moves in in a killer position between the goalkeeper and the defender, it's in the net and it's 2-2. Two -two. So it's more than 17 minutes to play, 2-2. Two -two. Proven, McGarvey, goal! Superb free kick, magnificent header, Celtic down 2-0 at one point, lead 3-2. There's Crobin's free kick. Garvey straight through, flying into the back of the net. A superb goal. Rangers 2, Celtic 3. Frank McGarvey will score up. 28 minutes gone in the second half. Five minutes left. Dawson trying a pass back, picked up by McLeod. Brought down by Dawson. Penalty kick. Well, Ali Dawson put himself under pressure there by miscuing. The cloud was going through, Dawson made the return challenge. Rafferty McGinley, six yards away, indicates penalty number two for Celtic. So, booking finale, Dawson. Four minutes from time here in this dramatic match at Ibrox. Charlie Nicholas has already scored from the spot. His first kick went to McCoy's right, where will the second one go? Same place, McCoy nearly got it. Nicholas's second penalty of the match. Celtic's fourth goal in this quite extraordinary contest. He again decided to pick the same corner. McCoy guessed that he would do it. Threw himself to his right, touched the ball, couldn't hold it. Into the back of the net, only just. Rangers two, Celtic four. Forward goes Aiken, and there's McGarvey down. Aiken with it, he's in. The equaliser. Eight minutes gone, one each, and that Celtic drive and determination has paid off. Dawson, Redford won't get there, that's very casual play by Rangers, that's a good ball, McClare, now he's got a lot of players up there, including Burns, and down goes McCloy, and that's been given, it's a goal by McGarvey, 2-1, with four minutes remaining. What a scramble in that Rangers defence. A beautiful ball to McClare. Coming from that original slightness. The ball swept across the goal. It looked as if McCoy had got hold of it. It broke clear and there was McGarvey to finish it off. And I think that should win the game. by McStay, the chance is on for McGarvey, brilliantly struck by Frank McGarvey, nine minutes into the second half, and Celtic after withstanding so much pressure, make the breakthrough, and this is down to some great play from Paul McStay, there's it, flanks that header out for McClellan, the neat pass inside, McGarvey took his time, measured the left foot shot, and beat McCloy at the left hand post. Frank McGarvey, his ninth goal of the season. Burns. Celtic very patient now, they have the lead. There's Burns going all the way. 
And that's a glorious second goal. A goal of the highest quality scored by Tommy Burns. 14 minutes from time. And that surely will tie the game up for some. Well, they don't come much better than this. There's Burns. The sky is to play the long range shot. The ball forward. They turn way off from McGarvey. Driving into the heart of the Rangers defence. They couldn't be stopped. And McCloy had no chance at all. Just his speciality, just his distance. So Burns over the ball. McCloy is waiting. Find the clear. The set piece brings Celtic back into the game. 22 minutes into the second half. And a goal right from the training ground from Brian McClare gives new life to Celtic. Well, this was a goal which will undoubtedly make a tremendous impact on the Celtic performance. Tommy Burns standing in the ball, lifting it over the Rangers' wall. There was McClare with the instant volley, and McCloy was helpless. One at the end of the first half. So the referee Bob Valentine sorting things out. Mark Reed will take the kick. He scored four out of four this season so far. That makes it five. And Celtic have tied it up at two apiece. And the Celtic bench coming to life. Well, the Celtic supporters undoubtedly would have an excuse for thinking they'd lost the League Cup. Mark Reed with joy written all over his face. Here's the reason why. Thundering the penalty kick past Peter McCloy. And it's now two apiece with extra time, surely not.
McLeod towards McLeod. Here's Johnston. McLeod. And ball by McKinnon. Day. Away from McKinnon. There's the equaliser. The eighth minute of the second half, and Paul McStay makes it one apiece. Well, this is midfield play at the very best. Got a chance to come forward, eased himself away from his master, Dave McKinnon, and drove the ball beyond Nicky Walker. Suddenly fitting Paul McStay for a marvellous open touch of minutes to the match. Then Dave McKinnon got to get with him. But that vital equaliser coming from the right boot of the most accomplished Celtic player in view. Paul McStay. Excellent play from the Scotland midfield player. A chance for Johnston and Celtic on ahead. Take it. Well won by Dave McKinnon, delaying his lack of inches for a central defender. Arts Deacon. Chance again for Celtic. Ryan McLear. 2-0. Johnston for Celtic. That's a fine pass to Burns. A great chance for Celtic for the third. Brilliantly finished. 3-1 to Celtic. And if Barnes was the finisher this time, Mo Johnston was the creative genius. So it's Celtic again, coming more into the match. Mo Johnston taking on McPherson. Cloud makes it for a piece. Sol Celtic. Durant trying to go in. And now Aiken. Edison, a brilliant equaliser. McClare. Fell for Celtic. Taking a grip in midfield. Paul McStay very much at the heart of it all. Now McGee. Yes, McClare. He's touched it past Woods. Ryan McClare makes it 1-0 to Celtic. And that goal has been on the cards. A tumultuous reception from the Celtic fans. Beat him comprehensively. 
The chance now for Celtic. It's Arsdeacon, and that's the third goal. A disaster in the Rangers' defence, and Owen Arsdeacon clinches the match for Celtic. Quite incredible. The free kick between Woods and Nicol goes wrong. Look at this now. Woods very casual. There's Jimmy Nicol. Didn't control it. Arsdeacon stepped in. The Rangers defender still protesting, and Arsdeacon was too close to the action. But Owen Arsdeacon gets. Only putting pressure on his own defence. There's a nice dummy, Billy Stark has scored. One nothing, beautifully taken by Stark. Delirious Celtic supporters. Almost four and a half minutes, I take it. Original mistake by Jimmy Nickel. And look at this ball. Beautiful little dummy there. And there was Billy Stark. That was not an easy chance. Tangle of legs, it's sorted out by McCarthy. Here's a chance now for Walker. It's Andy Walker going through and Roberts. No mistake this time. Celtic are in front. 33 minutes into the first half. Andy Walker collects his 13th goal of the season. And that's one which he will certainly relish. Rangers caught out badly in defence, caught out square. Walker's pace carrying him away from Butcher. Roberts trying to cut out the angle. Walker judged the left foot shot perfectly. That would have beaten the top class keeper. And Celtic now go one in front. Stark not get sideways, which day helps it on to Grant. Oh, that's a good ball from Stark. Here's Walker. That's for Peter Grant. That's the second. Peter Grant celebrates in front of the Celtic fans. And that undoubtedly down to the chaos in the Rangers' defence once again. Well, now, did this come off Terry Butcher or was it Peter Grant? It was a fine pass, this from Stark. Walker laid it inside. There was Grant racing through, getting to the ball, but it was Butcher who got to it first. It's an own goal from Terry Butcher. Day, looping it across to Rogan on the far side. It's back to Billy Stark. Appeals for handball against Goff, but still not clear for Rangers. There's Paul McStay. Paul McStay with the opening goal. 21 minutes into the second half. The Celtic end goes wild. A superb strike by Paul McStay. It's only his fourth of the season. But it was McStay who won that ball on the right initially. Looked over the cross. Anton Rogan nodded it down. There was Billy Stark, some appeals for handball. As the ball was then scrambled out from the head of Graham Roberts. Then nodded down again by Morris. There was McStay, and Woods was helpless.
There's Tommy Burns with the in-swinger. It's in! It's come off Andy Walker. The header was by Rogan, but Walker got the last touch. 11 minutes from time, Celtic go in front once again, and it came from the corner kick. Andy Walker's 26th of the season, and I don't think he knew very much about it. The Rangers defence caught napping, in came Rogan, the header was off target, it came off the chest of Andy Walker, and Celtic are back in the lead. Not doing well, and Stevens. Very confident on the ball. Dangerous moment though, the ball coming across goal for Butcher's header. That's the post, there's McAvenny! Celtic are in front. Troy for Frank McAvenny with five minutes on the clock. And the Celtic end goes wild. Peter Grant had the original shot with the post. Chris Woods appeared to see that late. Well, what an opening from Celtic. The league champion starting off. Richard Goff's clear is smiling high in the air. Puts his header. Grant with the shot off the post. Back to McAvenny for that deadly finish. And Celtic. There he is. Ex Abadonian. Ex Hamburg. And it's all pushing and shoveling in there just now, isn't it? Oh, that's a own goal. Terry Butcher. An own goal by Rangers captain. He was trying to clear that for a corner. And now it's one all. And here's Tommy Burns. Lofting it in. Mark McGee turning on it. Oh, he's got it through. Mark McGee scoring for Celtic. That makes it 2-1. With the Rangers defence standing stranded and the pressure has paid off. There it was, Buns in there. Now watch the number of Celtic players on the right there and how he got it through the crowded bodies. Nicely fed out there by Aiken. Gee, over in there, and that's the third one. Scott. Billy Stark gets Celtic's third goal. Now, that was delightful play by Celtic. It was a very tight range of defence. And then it came to Stark, and it was an in off. I think it came off uh, Brown eventually. It's only a minute gone. Celtic to take this. It's just there, yes. Morris, one nothing. Brilliant play by Miller. Now this looks better for Celtic. Morris. Great chance, he scored! Walker! Two up, Celtic! Trying to take on Aiken. Celtic captain wins it, but concedes the throw. Well, no, indeed it's a Celtic throw, taken quickly, here's Peter Grant. That's intended for Joe Miller, a great interception by Goff. Stevens in trouble, there's Joe Miller!
Jekinovski picks up another goal for Celtic. His third competitive goal for the So the first half drawing to a close with Celtic on the attack again. Here's Tommy Coyne. Sideways to Jakinovsky. Here's Joe Miller. And a great chance for Celtic. 1-0 to Celtic. Tommy Coyne and Joe Miller both claim the goal. Tommy Coyne set it up. Look at the pass here from Jakinovsky. Brilliantly wide there to Joe Miller. He has the shot. It gets away from Chris Woods. And it's Tommy Coyne who claims the goal. John Collins. Glancing header! Derek White for Celtic! Eight minutes into the second half, and Celtic have been under the cosh for so much of the game. Go ahead, and Derek White gets his first goal of the season. Lighted in there by Collins. White wasn't picked up. It broke in off the post, leaving Chris Woods here. No chance at all. It's a great leap by Derek White, and Woods was helpless. Trying to get his defence together. Paul Elliott's up there. John Brown's with him again at the far end of the box as Celtic prepared to take this corner through John Collins. Aiming it for Elliott and Rogan. Joe Miller teeing it up, driven forward, the deflection! Paul Elliott! 51 minutes gone! Celtic have taken the lead. The corner kick coming in from Collins. It broke to Joe Miller. He teed it up there. And Elliot deflecting the ball with his hand. Here's John Collins. There goes Elliot. Super header from Paul Elliott, who's brilliant in the air. That's a great climb. And into the roof of the net it goes. Coin gonna touch this Craney! Celtic are ahead! It's Jerry Craney in the sixth minute of the match. It's the perfect start for Celtic. Brady gets his 10th goal of the season, but he owes this to Tommy Coyne. Look at that good head flick, allowing Trady to get there ahead of Nisbet and Lee Woods with Aaron Athley. Absolutely brilliant goal by Craney. A brilliant leap by Tommy Coyne under pressure from Richard Goff, but Craney's made a run just off shot there and fired an unstoppable volley into the bottom corner. That's well stopped. from Darius Dubček, thundering the ball forward, that appeared to come off Terry Harlock, and once again, Chris Woods had no chance. Rangers penalty there, again Gary Stevens watching him carefully as Miller takes the kick with his right foot, Doff's above them all, the ball spinning high and awkwardly in the air, it's lost by Chris Woods, it's into the back of the net, it's a goal for Celtic. Seven minutes gone at Parkhead and Anton Rogan. Well, Chris Woods appeared to have the ball come off the head of Richard Goff, spun frizzily into the air. Chris Woods seemed to have it. It dropped to Anton Rogan. And with the long throw looking for the head of Richard Goff. Away by Collins. 
Ray Stevens coming in, this possessed by Paul McStay. Linton Rogan, a long ball forward, looking for Tommy Coyne, it's one against one. Coyne getting away from Davy Dodge, Tommy Coyne, he must start. Oh, he's forced wide, still Coyne, Joe Miller. Joe Miller makes it 2-0 to Celtic. situation for Divi Dodds he got past him, he got away from the goalkeeper it looked as though the chance was lost Coyne remaining calm, puts the ball into the path of little Joe Miller and it's 2-0 to Celtic Chris Woods stay the header Tommy Coyne does it again, Joe Miller on the right. The ball played right across goal, a brilliant downward header. Tommy Coyne's 14th goal in 22 games. Speckman with the pass back to Casperino and equalises for Celtic. 70 minutes, Cascarino's been in the field only a few moments. A nightmare of a pass back there from Spackman. There seemed to be no trouble at all for Rangers. And there was Cascarino scoring only his second goal for Celtic. It was Tommy Coyne with the downward header. Spackman with the pass back. Cascarino reacting immediately and sending the ball into the back of the net. Rangers one, Celtic one. Celtic, Charlie Nicholas scores a tremendous goal for Celtic, 34 minutes gone, well it all began with a poor ball by Rangers, it was returned into the path of Charlie Nicholas, it was Chris Morris flipping it forward, it wasn't properly cleared at all, and there was Charlie Nicholas Day getting the better of Speckman and McCall. Jerry Crenny! Pivot to Celtic. 57 minutes gone. And that was a fine ball from Jerry Crenny. He just took his time and played the ball. But it was McStay who initially got the better of Spackman. Then he got away from McCall. He found Craney. Craney had the confidence to step away from the defenders. And with his right foot, fired it past Andy Gorham. Magnari comes clear with the ball for Celtic. Plenty of support waiting in the middle. Deflected there and the goal for Celtic. Kenny Craney puts Celtic ahead. Celtic supporters. There was a fine move, but there was a touch of luck about it as well. The fell up there on the right with the deflection, getting the ball to Crenny, and what a deadly finish that was. McAvenny is challenged by Brown. It's won by McStay. Through for Collins. Good play by Collins. That's a wonderful goal by John Collins. 37 minutes gone, and John Collins gets his seventh goal of the season. It was a wonderful strike, and it was initially set up by Paul McStay. McStay won the ball, he sent it through to Collins, he stepped inside, Murray opened up the gap for himself, and gave Gorham no chance right in at the post.
Collins sending it in. Got him missed it. And Peter has scored. An incredible goal for Celtic. 52 minutes gone. And it's Celtic 2. Rangers 0. And Andy Payton gets his 15th goal of the season. Well, the corner kick to the cross from Collins. Andy Gorham was rooted to his line. And there was Payton to send it into the roof of the net. This is McGinley. Goalkeeper commits himself. He's dropped it. The chance on here for Collins. He must score. And John Collins puts Celtic right back into the game. 70 minutes. Rangers 1, Celtic 1. Well, what a blunder by Ali Maxwell. He committed himself, he came for the ball, he seemed to have it, there seemed to be no danger at all. Charlie Nicholas came in and challenged. The ball dropped, broke away there to Collins, who kept a very cool head indeed, and knocked the ball in the far side. Testing moment for Ali Maxwell. It's the in-swinger, he's under pressure, and Celtic have scored! Two minutes of injury time played, and Celtic dramatically win this match here at Ibrook Stadium. And the substitute is delighted with himself, Ryan O'Neill. Well, it was played in, towards the near post, Maxwell committed himself, missed it completely. Deflected from out this range. Well, that's a good change of slant there by John Collins. It's a magnificent goal for Celtic. And John Collins throws Celtic a lifeline. This is an inspired set piece from Celtic. This is a magnificently worked free kick. Look at John Collins. He's in the conference to take the ball. Take it past Truman McCall. What a tremendous shot he fires into the net there. That's a real lifeline for Celtic. Chance on there for the second for Celtic. It's turned in there by Charlie Nicholas. The head of Mark McNally did all the damage, and the Rangers' defence was certainly caught napping here. It's, right, it's, a, it's a well hit corner, but look at Mark McNally gets up well in amongst defenders. And there's Charlie Nicholas in the right position, put it ball back in net. Did he make a game of it again? It could really silence this huge crowd here. It's Collins. It's a magnificent goal by John Collins. 29 minutes gone here at Ibrox. Rangers nil, Celtic one. And really self-inflicted wounds by Rangers giving away the free kick. But what a mighty strike by Collins right into the top corner. Yeah, well, we're half expecting the dog check thunderbolt there. But Collins steps up and flights this beautifully into the top right-hand corner. And the goal greeted by... Deafening silence here at Highbrook. Collins takes it. He scores! Magnificent free kick from Collins. And Celtic in the reward for a wonderful first half performance. Jubilation of the Long Road stand. It was beautifully taken by Collins. Good play again. Grant checks inside McCall. On for McStay. It's a second for Celtic. And another superb goal. Beautifully created. And finished in style by the captain Paul McStay. Home side. And I think that tells you all about how well Celtic have played in the second half. Collins with a cross. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. A marvellous goal by Byrne. Oh, Riding in on the volley. Wonderful equaliser. Thoroughly deserved by Celtic. Oh, it's been on the cards, Martin, but a magnificent ball from John Collins. I said he's been having more and more of an influence in this game. But look at the way he picks out Byrne. And this isn't an easy chance. And it's a magnificent strike. Reminiscent of Andre Kanchelskis' goal early in the season at the City Ground Nottingham. That's a magnificent strike, it really is. 
Linking with Donnelly. Good running by McLaughlin. But Hoydock. The great shot by Hoydock. And Celtic take the lead. And that was a classic. Created by Brian McLaughlin. It's brilliant play by the little midfield man. He just goes past two tackles here now, just digs the ball past Alan McLaren and Pierre Van Hoyler, adjusts his feet, look at this power, look at that goal, straight past Billy Johnson's right hand, good play by M McLaughlin there, just sets himself up nicely, and possibly his weaker foot, it's 1-0 Celtic. Good play by Donnelly, this is McStay, looking for Donnelly again, he's away from McLaren. Chance on again for Celtic, Donnelly going all the way himself, and Celtic supporters, dejection for Craig Moore, but great play by Simon Donnelly. Well, this move started deep in the Celtics half. Simon Donnelly using a bit of pace here. Alan McLaren always struggling to get back to him now. He gets up across the heads the ball across the box and poor Craig Moore in an effort then to try and divert the ball for a corner, puts it into his own net. Simon Donnelly has a look across the box. Puts it across the penalty area. Craig Moore trying to put it for a corner. Did what I used to do many times, Rangers. Put it in the back of me on net. <laughs> Incredible free kick by Rudy Vata here. Everybody thought John Collins was going to hit it. He just got it round the inside of the wall. Billy Thompson could not get across. Great angle here. Just inside that near post. Billy Thompson just couldn't get away. I think he was... Boy to emerges with the ball. Flips it through. Looking for Donnelly. This is Tom. Andreas Tom's going to try one here. Oh, that is an incredible goal by Andreas Tom. What a mighty strike and awesome strike. Nine minutes gone here at Ibrook Stadium. There's jubilation among the Celtic fans. A stunning goal by Andreas Tom, which gave Andy Gorham no chance at all. The gap opened up. It was obvious he was going to hit it. But my goodness, what a goal. His seventh of the season. Absolutely magnificent. So, John Collins starts his run. And it's gone in. And again, the Celtic fans celebrate. 51 minutes gone here. John Collins puts Celtic ahead. Rangers 1, Celtic 2. Andy Gorham, guess right. He might even get a bit touch on that, but he couldn't keep it out. The ball drifted into the corner. Well, he sneaked in the corner. Gorham's read it. Usually particularly good at these saves. John Collins has hit the back of the net, and that's the only thing that will bother him. So Celtic with it all to do now. Tosh McKinley gives the cross, it's Van Hoydon. And that's in. Well, this is quite incredible. Three goals apiece here at Ibrox. Van Hoydon picking his spot in the far corner. Well, there have been some dramatic games in recent years. Tosh McKinley at the other end involved in own goal, provides an excellent cross. And Van Hoydon so often criticised for not getting up inside the area. Leaps high and sends a splendid header beyond Andy Gorham. Well, it's a superb header. This is what a lot of people have been saying in the past about here. We'd like to see more of it. And he pays him back today, but again, a superb, a superb cross and run from Tosh McKinley. Just in... And to draw Celtic back into this game. And it's a good header, it's in from Hughes! Dramatic equaliser for Celtic. Just like Rangers' goal, it's come from a free kick. Just like Rangers' goal, it's come from a defender. John Hughes, the hero. Really, Rangers' defence are all in the mix up here. At the end of the day, John Hughes gets a free header to go. Beautiful header, direct in the corner, and really the goal gives no chance. But, you know, Rangers have been said so much about 
how well the back division have played. They'll leave a big gap there and John Hughes. Right, Kamara running tireless, then his right hand side. Good ball in there, but Hyder! Celtic are back in the match! It's a well won ball in actual fact, and it's the first time they've disturbed that centre ball. Van Hyder. They've got to believe they can score. Boy. Van Hoydonk, Cadet, to Cameo, they have scored! In the match. Cadet, they marked inside the box by Bjorklund. The header goes in! It's Malky Mackay for Celtic! A dream start for Celtic, bad defending, Gorham out of reach, Mackay with a fine header, Andy Gorham will not be happy about this, came and missed, Mackay's presence was too much for him here, what a fine leap it was, Gorham was out of reach. Paolo Di Canio, three out of three penalties this season he scored, against Andy Gorham who saved three out of five. 2-0 to Celtic. Coolness personified. Delirium all around the stands at Celtic Park. You don't get penalties taken any better than that against a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant play by Di Canio. The cover again, it's Jackie McNamara. Boyd, this is Larson, now Simon Donnelly, three players to his left, Burley! And Celtic at least have the consolation of a goal, and there's no surprise that they want to get on with it. We played out by Stubbs to Adon. It's a good one by Simon Donnelly, in for Henrik Larson, and Morovdick! His first goal for Celtic! 12 minutes gone, and Joshua Vanglas, his fellow Slovakian, leads the applause. A superb finish, and Celtic's decision to push Monovic up front pays dividends. The left foot shot was perfectly timed and perfectly placed, and curled away from Niemi. He threw himself towards it, but he had no chance of keeping this out. A quick break, clever play from Larson with the dummy, and the clinical finish from Moravchik, and that was the reaction on the Celtic bench. 1-0. Top point is onside. Number two for Moravchik. Four minutes of the second half gone. This so far match is turning into an unbelievable dream for Luba Moravchik. Picked out by Boyd, and how good was that header? 
Adesimiemi was rooted to the spot because it was so far away from him, into the corner. Tom Boyd picked out by that superb pass by Alan Stubbs, pulled it back, and no marking on Moravchik. Pass from Donnelly for Henrik Larsson! It's number three this time! And Celtic Park is bouncing! Seven minutes into the second half, and a three-goal lead for Celtic. Rangers are stunned. Henrik Larsson scores his 12th goal of the season. The deftest of flicks, putting the ball beyond Antiniemi. The angle pass from Simon Donnelly. Larsson had the pace to get away from Henry, and he had the composure to finish in some style. Get it clear though, in from Philadelphia and Henrik Larsson! Two for Larsson, two for Moravchik, four for Celtic. Eleven minutes now into the second half. An absolutely incredible old firm match. One goal in the first half already, another four inside 11 minutes of the second half. Philadelphia's cross. Henrik Larsson not picked up, and the header was down and away from Niemi, and it's 4-1. Lambert, and some room here for Henrik Larsson, Tom Boyd is getting up in support of him. Virgil is there as well, here's Mark Virgil. That's number five, a fairy tale for Mark Virgil. His first taste of the old firm match, and his first goal, it's 5-1. Right on 90 minutes, Henrik Larsson carved up in the Rangers defence, released the pass at just the right time, inside Borini. And what a good finish that was for a teenager. Celtic's free kick away by Amoruso. Celtic have taken the lead through Alan Stubbs. Only his second league goal for the boys, and both of them have come against Rangers and against the run of play. Celtic are one up. It's completely against the run of play, but that won't matter at all. You normally blast them, but that is a measured side foot shot. There's plenty of space here. Amoruso doesn't defend it well. It breaks the stops. He's only got one thing in his mind to curl it into the right-hand corner. Takes a look up, knows exactly where Klaus is. And that's a finish a striker would be proud of. And how many times have we seen this in this old firm match? A team completely out of it. And then go up the park and score. What a sore one that must be for Dick Advocate. Incredible! Henrik Larsson has made it! 2-2! Two, two. Unbelievable stuff. What a football match we're watching here in Glasgow tonight. A question Celtic's response. Fabulous left foot shot. Klaus nowhere and Larson reacting quicker than Vidmar. And Klaus just can't get back. The left foot effort from Moravchik. Klaus beaten, tries to get back to his feet. And he just can't get across his goal quickly enough. Great reactions by Henrik Larson. Ball, Baduka trying to hold it, and it's in a beautiful goal by Berkovic. The equaliser for Celtic, and that all stems from that mistake by Van Bronckhurst. Beautifully manufactured, all the same. The ball held up here. Look at that bad pass by Van Bronckhurst. Berkovic comes round the outside. Now look at the powerful work here by Baduka. Not making the goalkeeper an exquisite goal. Two minutes after that, first one by Rangers. Amoroso giving that away. Baduka coming in and goal. There's Berkovic again, and he put it in.
Celtic have gone 2-1 up after a dreadful mistake in central defence. Three minutes from half time. And the suicidal tendency of the Rangers captain paying a heavy toll for his side. And Berkovic remaining icily cool. You have to give him great credit. I mean, it's a situation where turning there, they could have lost the opportunity. But look at the way he easily rolled it. Berkovic again looking for the little run run to side. There's your Tony score for Luka. Celtic a one up. Gloriously put in by Baduka from a very difficult angle indeed. His 19th goal of the season. Sweetly struck by the big Australian international. Well, he's threatened it in the game already. Beautiful ball there. This was never going to be easy. But Charbonnier barely moved. And this was slotted away from the Rangers goal. Yes, for Rangers in the air. Just knocked out, Larson tries to get there and set them a score. Fifty seconds gone, what a baptism. In the right place at the right time, and Parkhead has exploded. No defence there as the ball is played in, not cleared up efficiently. And look at Sutton just touching it round there. Nobody was covering. They were ball watching. And Rangers have suffered as a result. Well, even he could not have imagined in his wildest imaginations that he would score thus early. Moravchik. What a kill and this is second one. Petrov, no covering at the far post, and a young Bulgarian given a gift. And no wonder the Rangers defenders are looking at them, look at the way he crept in there. And this Rangers defense, as I said, could be vulnerable in the air. And that proved it again. Pedro wriggling clear. Puts it down there. And there it is again, Lambert. 3 0. This is an annihilation. He took that beautifully. Celtic persevered on the left hand side. The war is a half-hearted claim for offside there. Look at the way the Pegasus was turned, and Lambert still had a lot of work to do there. And he did it supremely well. Had to angle it away, and I think Klaus might just have been blinded by Amoroso there, but I don't think he was going to get to it in any case. A great run by Larson! He's done it again! Glorious goal by Larson. Outstripping the Rangers defence. And there might have been a possibility of Rangers coming back in that, but that is Larson in full majestic flow. No defence down the middle here. The pace of it, a half-hearted effort at a tackle there by Conteman. Not positive enough. And Rangers again have suffered. Look at that poised and delicate finish. No chance for Kloss. Once again hoisting that in, and it's there again, Larson. No cover and Larson. The second goal, number five. Astonishing. And he goes there, nobody covering him. And he must know his thread in the air. What an effort in defending. And Larson took it very well. No chance for the Rangers goalkeeper.
by Pinto. Pace there by Mahe. Into the box. They go, and that's it. Another one. Sutton second. Six it is. Missing out again. Well, now the pace on the left as it has bothered Rangers, but watch the marking again. Stretching right across, and Amoruso seems to give up. And these are now acts of humiliation for this Rangers team. Once against the Monaco from this direction, that's in. Yet again, it does it, Lawson. No cover there. And forever it's it again. It's a vicious looking one off the bar, and that's it. Vega comes up there, gets his head to it. And Sutton puts the ball in the back of the net. The Celtic end erupts. Good work by Vega initially. There's the header up the bar, and Sutton, nobody covering him. Celtic a one up. It's typical Celtic this season, Archie. A real physical presence for set pieces. They bring on Vega, probably the biggest guy in the side. Gets up well, gets a header off the crossbar. Close actually got a touch to it. But that's a magnificent finish for Sutton. He's fallen backwards, and he still manages to keep the ball down and put it high into the net. The difference here was Robert Malcolm taking the ball forward into the, the Celtic territory and finding Barry Ferguson with a good pass. Well, there's, I think, the referee is saying that's the second goal. Larson follows through and gets the second goal as a youngster, Robert Malcolm, was left stranded there on his own against the most lethal attacker in the United Kingdom. And he got in such a tangle. Perfectly correct decision by the referee. Well, he could have bust an head at the end there, but all he needed to do was take it there and then touch it in. Rangers woefully exposed in defence. Well, we spoke about Henrik Larson's work rate. I think there we talk about his determination and then his composure just to have the presence of mind to lob it over across his head. He knows he's got all the time in the world to put it into the NTX. At this stage in the game, Larson to take it. That's it. 3 1. And he's much more delighted now. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone for power and accuracy. Archie's kept it down low. Stefan Kloss has guessed the wrong way. And he's tucked it in the corner there. Oh, it's a replica of Alberts' uh, penalty yep. himself. And, and now Rangers really... It bounces through to Larson. Sutton taking over. And Larson could be in here. Oh, yes, Thompson! Celtic in front. And Alan Thompson has struck first on Derby Day in Glasgow. Uh, Rangers opened up a bit too easily here. Terrific play by Celtic's front pair, Sutton and Larson. George Alberts couldn't quite do enough there as Larson tried to get the shot away. And it broke so perfectly for Alan Thompson. Good ball threaded through by Sutton. Larson on his way. Alberts doesn't quite do enough. Well, Alan Thompson wasn't going to miss from there. The dead ends free kick. Larson into the path of Lubomir Ravchik. He's through! And he scored! And it's 1-0 to the champions! And it's little Lubo! Well, Henry Larson does magnificently and to hold it up under pressure from Bert Contum and needed a bit of support that came from Moravchik, who was prepared to get forward and help him. And from there on in, he had the composure to pick his spot. Maloney's flick. Oh, Mar 
Maratchik's going to be in again here. Where are Rangers? Lubomir Maratchik. Is he going to get a second? You better believe he is. It's a double for Maratchik. And Celtic are heading for their first win over Rangers and Ibrox for six and a half years. Oh, I couldn't have showed any more composure. Wonderful finish by a wonderful footballer. Away by Ferguson. Here's two guy. Oh, two guys stumble. McNamara slips it through. Henrik Larsson round the keeper. The angles have been acute, but that doesn't matter. He's done it. It's a fabulous 50 goals in a season for Henrik Larsson. And that is the perfect end to a perfect day in a perfect season. Two guys caught in possession. Jackie McNamara looking for a runner. Larsson shows. Enough composure to go around the keeper, tucks it away, and, well, I think we've used all the adjectives, adjectives for this man, Ian. And once again, it's a special finish from a very special striker. Oh, Thompson there can take them, and Larson, yes it is. Again, and it's in, right through the goalkeeper, he's done it again. The third free kick in a row, and the goalkeeper surely at fault there. The Celtic end in raptures. The young Bulgarian who recovered dramatically. Watch it. That should have been saved. That is a, for a, an international goalkeeper. A basic error. Inviting Rangers to come in for the tackle. Good run by Thompson. Can he get his right foot to He's done it. That's the winning of the game with the Pura of his two feet taking on that Rangers defence sliding it away and I made it about a couple of minutes into stoppage time without any dispute Celtic are winning this game very poor tackling allowing him that freedom although he had a lot to do and he did it well so Martin O'Neill has made his first change. Maloney for Moravchik. Petrov's free kick whipped in. Malde, here's a chance. And yes, Valharian scores for Celtic. Martin O'Neill punches the air. Celtic are ahead. Oh, they certainly are. Fabulous delivery. across the face of the goal and it's an easy finish for Valhalla we spoke about it at the start of the second half Rangers have had so much of the match and it's Celtic who've got the breakthrough stretching out Valhalla he got there before Newman and now the chance for Henrik Larsson to make it two Henrik Larsson's eighth old firm goal his 14th of the season Celtic two goals in front, and he's just two goals away from a century of goals for Celtic. Yeah, there's no doubt where this one's going. Beautifully struck away, close, doesn't even move an inch. Boom, straight in the corner. Wonderful finish. And it goes, it's almost there. No! the touch and then it goes one in Larson has pushed it through here for Petrov it's Stilian Petrov and Celtic are in front at the home of their fierce rivals that's a terrific set up by Larson but how many times do we see this fella do this and he gambles you look at him in a deep position he's on his way already great reverse by Larson the timing of the run is superb Plus, can't quite do enough and the value of Stylian Petrov never better summed up than in this moment here. And there certainly aren't ten a penny midfielders who go beyond the front players. 
And no wonder Celtic are trying to get this youngster tied up in a longer term contract. He is becoming absolutely invaluable to them. Very wide. And there it is, the equaliser, Thompson. Lovely little push down to Thompson just before half time. It's back to level. In he came, that ball played right across the Rangers defence. Played out there. Nobody marking Thompson as he went through. Hearts and Tets, a great deal of credit for laying that just to the side. Now one each. Thompson whips the corner in, and Bald is in there, and so is Hudson. And Celtic strike first in the Old Firm Cup final. It's Neil Lennon who whips it in, and Bald is there. He's done it. Bobo Bald. Silas Cross. Larson. Something special from Larson has Celtic back on level terms. His 14th goal of the season is an absolute beauty. It's 1-1 at Celtic Park. Absolutely brilliant. There's no way you can describe that one. It starts with the pass. Larson, now got a ball to Bobo Silla. Takes his time. Ball in the box. Larson back to goal. Played down by Petro, but ferocious pace. And Henrik Larson has scored his second. 2-1 Celtic. Seven minutes played in the second half. It's Larson again. His 11th and 12th old firm goals have Celtic in front. So sharp. You mentioned the threat of set pieces time and time again. Magnificent delivery from Stylian Petro. And that man Larson again is so good in the air. His timing is excellent. And what a powerful header after Newman second to the ball. The ball driven high into the net, giving Stephen Kloss no chance. Is that not a half Nelson? <laughs> More like a full Nelson. Thompson's free kick, Larson, Hartson's flick. There's Chris Sutton! It's 3 all. The scoring goes on and on. Rangers defended it poorly, and Chris Sutton made them pay. It's pure defending, set piece again. The Rangers and the chances here, they clear the danger. Harrison just a touch. Barry Ferguson there will be disappointed. Underway at Ibrox. Celtic with the narrowest of advantages over their oldest rivals. Just a point in it. John Hartson. And it's off the line and that's it. Celtic have scored after 19 seconds. What was happening in that Rangers defence? And Chris Sutton cast in. It's an unbelievable start to the match. John Hartson deserves enormous credit. You don't think he's got this first of pace, but look at that there. Russian Amaro straight the road, pulling it back, and Chris Sutton gets a touch there. Plus, lofted in by Thompson. Hartson's touch to Larson. And back to John Hartson! hopes of turning this match around again just over an hour ago on Hartson for Celtic 3-2 it's been coming the last 10 minutes or so it's a good goal from Celtic's point of view Thompson decent and great touch from Hartson played to Larson and just holding the ball enough time for Hartson to spin round and from there it's only going one place in the back of the net it's the Celtic counter attack with Alan Thompson Played in for Chris Sutton, knocks it down for John Hartson! 12 minutes into the second half, John Hartson fires Celtic in front, his 23rd goal of the season, and it was coming! It's a magnificent goal, Mikel Arteta will be disappointed, he gave the ball away, the ball away early, but there's no question the Hartson ability, quality, composure. It's a sixth corner in all night. Good delivery from Alan Thompson, they need a good cross. His 16th start for Celtic Smith, this is Thompson with the corner kick. And oh, it's in! And Larson scores for Celtic! The hit cross on the way through! And Rick Larson scores!
scores in a third Cheers final for Celtic. Emulating Kenny Dalglish, the last Celtic man to do so. Game on. Well, that's just what this game needed because it, this time there was good delivery, good run across to the front post there from Henrik Larsson. He leaves his marker. It was Rickson. Fernando Rickson was the man that was marking him. Lovenkrantz couldn't deal with it. He came off the post to deal with it. Penalties are vital. He's done it and he makes it look so simple. Celtic, a one-up. 29 minutes of the first half gone. He has silenced the Ibrox end with the simplest of penalty can any shape or form can anybody think the game has yet won but here's a gap he's trying to put it beyond any doubt there's hearts and he's done it Celtic two in front two minutes before half time and after the jubilation by the manager he tries to restrain himself but I suspect he feels the game is beyond their famous rivals the Welshman with deadly accurate and then last season three all all square so far as Hartson links with Larson. John Hartson scores 18 seconds of the second half gone his 50th Celtic goal and it couldn't have come in more dramatic circumstances it's a good build up from Celtic straight down the middle but I'm not too sure if John Hartson means this one it takes a slight def deflection the way over but he won't be too concerned in from Henrik Larsson and the opening goal is Stylian Petrov's Stefan Klaus got his hand to it this time he couldn't keep it out it rolled agonisingly along the goal line Thompson's corner John Hartson trying to get there Stan Varga does it's 2-0 Celtic 14 minutes into the second half, a major inquiry at the heart of the Rangers' defence. Again, it's from the set piece. The last is shot that hits the post, but from the resulting corner, they lose the first one. Bobo Valde wins it. Much closer. Alan Thompson's effort! A sensational goal from Thompson. Rounds off Celtic's old firm win. He does it so well, his eighth goal of the season, and there's no doubt about it now, Celtic are going to move 11 points ahead of Rangers in the title race. It's a tremendous free kick, we've seen Thompson do this time and time again. It's all Stands over the ball. Flicks it in, Bobo Baldy was looking for it, comes back across, Kloss almost beaten by his own man, Pearson puts it in, it's a real scramble, and then it lasts and scores! Eight minutes gone in the second half, and once more it's Henrik Larsson in his 299th Celtic match. Puts Celtic ahead of Rangers. There we go, we all say he's a danger, he's been quite quiet all game. He's been held all game by the back three of Rangers. Again from a set piece, causing all sorts of problems, Boba Baldy. Plus Neil Stig he gets a hand on it. And there is that one, right place at the right time again to finish. How many times have seen him? The usual jostling, Varga up for this, who's coming forward, it's in! Henrik Larsson, would you believe, so often he gets away from defenders, especially when they've got blue jerseys on, and puts it away. Tremendous effort there again by Henrik Larsson, 20 minutes gone. And surely tired limbs and minds will be... Watch the run, Pearson chasing after this. Kishanis Phillies gives it away again. Oh, here's a great chance for Pearson. Now Thompson, there it is. That should put it beyond any doubt at all. Alan Thompson. And that is the classic difference between the two sides. Give Celtic half a chance like this, and they'll put it away. Good save by Klaus initially, but look at the way he swept it in. Larson lays it off to Chris Sutton. Sutton looks up, makes some space, and it's a goal! In the 92nd minute at Celtic Park, in the last Old Firm game of the season, Chris Sutton has given Celtic a lead, and there's no way back now for Rangers. Your beauty indeed.
The Celtic fans go absolutely wild, as does Martin O'Neill and John Robertson. They can't believe their luck. The pressured Rangers from almost the first ball. Marshall started this. McNamara got a head flick, cushioned down by Larson into the path of Chris Sutton. He shrugged off, Frank De Boer and lobbed. on the pressure. That's for Wallace to attack. The one man for Celtic. This is Thompson. That's a wonderful strike by Alan Thompson. Celtic Park erupts. And Alan Thompson looks the one the awful match for Celtic. What a strike that was. Initially a good header away from Alan Hutton there. The ball lifted into the box. Alan Hutton there just getting up above Wallace. The ball came down. Only one thing on Thompson's mind. A raking shot that dipped and swerved. Giving clock. Celtic will take the second corner. Coming in. Hartson looking for it! And John Hartson scores for Celtic! That's a great header! Wonderful goal by Petro for Celtic! What a goal that is. Too much time left with a gat on the ball there. Poor, poor defending, but what an exquisite header that was. Want to release Bellamy. Sloan getting support there. Bellamy's on his own. That's oh, a wonderful goal by Bellamy! Celtic are two ahead! What a fantastic strike. That sums his first half up at the moment. Gets into that position. Loves to get the ball in, get the ball down. Super running for in his own. This year again comes to win the ball. And just could do with him slightly further up the field. Petrov. Great touch by Maloney. He's going to go for the shot. Oh. Brilliant from Sean Maloney. What a goal. We expected a moment of magic. It comes from Sean Maloney. I think one ball is one of the best goals I've ever seen in a row from here. Absolutely outstanding. He's taking a great, taking a great touch himself on the dummy. Taking it for it must be 30 yards out. And I tell you what, that's right in the stands. Fabulous. Stephen Cross is a top-class goalkeeper, and he could do absolutely nothing. There's been no quality in the game, but I tell you what, there is now. Well, it was worth sticking around for. I think Stefan Kloss's position was wrong because he wasn't expecting Maloney to shoot. I don't think any goalkeeper would have done no, from there. No, exactly. Well, this is how Gordon Strachan saw it. Well, it got me in the edge of my seat, I tell you. It was outstanding. Just to let him just one Celtic goal in his time. He won't be shooting from there. Nakamura, decent cross. Goes bundled in. And Bolivani scored. Celtic will be in the semi-final of the CIS Insurance Cup. They will win the quarter-final here at Celtic Park. First thing I'm thinking as well, Paul, is that a goalkeeper error? It's a decent ball into the box. Chance for Nakamura to break on Celtic. Here's Maloney with a chance. That's Hudson! Sensational play, sensational cross, and a super finish there. Nakamura at his very, very best. And if you want a man on the end of the cross, six yards out, no better man than that man there, Bobby. Well, that's terrific play by Celtic. Nakamura, in particular, showed great ability to send this up. Just look at the patience he demonstrates here. Kiriakos, now Murray. Losing out very easily to Nakamura. Well, that's good play again from Celtic. It's Petrov. Waiting for Telford to offer an option. And that's the third! McGinney! Great, great, great cross.
Madison again, but near post from Buffalo. Here's Petrov. Not down there, the chance is on for Zalewski! Celtic go ahead! Masek Zalewski gets his 11th goal of the season, and Celtic have the lead. As easy as that, ball drops down. Zalewski gets himself the right side of the defender, and as cool as you like. Two defenders again going for the same ball there, no communication. Lennon. Nakamura. Benagura Hesseling. Far post. Henny Miller. Telfer. Lennon. Adini! Terrific save! But Thomas Graveson puts it in! Graveson marks his old firm debut with a goal! And Celtic lead Rangers! This has been blithering Rangers since the start. Quality ball into the box. We haven't looked comfortable. McGeary gets on the end of it this time. And McGregor, it's a great save. But out of luck. Graveson following up. Where are the defence of Rangers? Two players clearly unmarked. The first header and then Graveson with no one anywhere near him. Charlie Adam. Boric just got his fingertips to it. Back by Sionko, but no Rangers player showing interest or perhaps thinking that Sionko was going to hook it back. And if they had it, it would have been an easy goal. Nobody there for Rangers. And Aidan McGeady now going on the prowl. And he slips it through for Miller. Kelly Miller! Celtic, and wouldn't you just know it, it comes against his former club, it comes against Rangers. And it's sheer relief from Kenny Miller. Positions and get good cross balls in. Leila, that's good. Taraski missed it, and Graveson! has fired Celtic in front. He scored against Rangers in September. He scores against them in December. Thomas Graveson shows the way on Old Firm Day. I just said, Celtic are trying to get the ball wide. They've kept possession the last five minutes. It's a fantastic... even have a chance of taking the title race further. Nakamura! Fantastic strike, bang on the 20 minutes mark, and after all that pressure, it's paid off. Caldwell. McDonald. Fenegor of Hesselink! They've done it! Jan Fenegor of Hesselink answers a Celtic SOS! Save our season! They are still in the title race! Over towards Jan Fenegor of Hesselink. McDonald. Oh, it's, it's in! It took a little nick, and it sailed over Alexander. And McDonald claims another goal. It's 2-2, just before half-time. This is incredible. Barry Robson. He makes his mark at Celtic Park, and this top seed Turvey Tussle takes another twist. Celtic are in front again. And Maloney or Sabaras! Celtic responds straight away! Nakamura has found the bottom corner, adding to his free kick connection. Samurai. 
pass. Scott McDonough, can he shake off Broadfoot? Yes, he can! An incredible goal! Scott McDonough makes the difference on Derby Day in Glasgow. Celtic have the lead at Ibrox. Rangers reeling. It was absolutely fantastic last week. But just look at this for a finish. Swung across there, and the other goal! Darren O'Dea, perhaps the most unlikely player on the pitch to score. He scores against Rangers for the first time in the cup final for the first time. He's now got the chance to make every Celtic fan roar. Celtic will win the Cooperative Insurance Cup for 2009. Signed, sealed and delivered. McGinney. Against Alan McGregor, the goalkeeper got a hand to it, but Ada McGinney drags Celtic back into the match. McGinney, skipped away from Whittaker. McGinney, McDonald! Scott McDonald comes off the bench to seize the moment, and it's a magic moment for Celtic. has gone for it and it's took a little nick on the way I think Celtic make a storming start as they look to regain some pride Naylor's cross Fortuna and it's slipped past Alexander and Celtic are back in front in a pulsating old firm encounter the key corner and it comes Hooper and Celtic lead right at half time. It's an expert finish from Gary Hooper. And he sends Celtic Park Wild with a calm finish. He controlled it as well. And just slammed it into the. Foster. Gave it away to Ledley. Samaras is chasing this. And McGregor's come away. Giorgio Samara scores for Celtic! Happy New Year to the men in hoops! They have the lead at Ibrox! Well, if anyone in green and white today deserves a goal, it's Giorgio Samaras. It is Samaras. It is 2-0. He is the man of the moment. What a way to start a year for Celtic! Well, goalkeepers just don't save them. It's a terrific penalty. Because Alan McGregor goes early, he guesses right. Well, the ball just hits the side net, the inside of the side net, and that's how good the strike is. Just opens his foot on it at the very last moment. Celtic have responded quite well to going behind. And then they could send this across for Cummins! They have equalised! Chris Cummins on his old firm debut! His say! Confronted by Naismith. Made room for the cross. Maybe he might just have taken that away from Samaras, but here's Wilson. Brown! Brilliant! The captain shows the way! The ten men of Celtic rally! It is 2-2! Two -two. Well, again, you've got to hand it to Neil Lennon because he's pushed his fullbacks right forward now. Though, could make something happen now. Hooper, skips past Weir, Gary Hooper! Born to score goals! Celtic strike first and we have another early old firm goal to get us going! Izagiri is to his left, if he can put him in here, and he's onside. Izagiri, Hooper! Chris Cummins! 3-0! Celtic are loving it! Absolutely loving it! He scored on his Celtic debut, he scored on his old firm debut, and now on his home debut! Well, he did brilliantly to lose Bruguera, who's well-positioned goal side. But I just wonder how much this moves, how much it moves in the air, because it looked pretty easy for Alan McGregor. 
Push that pass, Foster. Hooper let it go, and it's going to come here to Wilson to hit it. Brilliant clearance off the line, but he's going to have another go. And it's in this time! He's suddenly scoring loads of goals. Mark Wilson, at the second time of asking, Celtic jump in front. Well, a long last is a duty. Gets down the outside of Foster, who's handled them really well tonight. But he gets the chance to throw it in early with his left foot. Half pass does well to match the run of Brown. Take a touch its way through, that might help Celtic, and it does! And they are back on level terms through Joel Edley! The hero of midweek grabs his fifth of the season, and Celtic are back on terms! It's all down this left hand side again, Liam. Not really getting to grips. Throw ins too easy again, easy there. Little deflection, Savaras flicks on, but Ledley does brilliantly. Celtic right back in it. Great finish. No group. El Cadori. Brown again. Gary Hooper. Scores! A typically clinical finish from Gary Hooper. He scores on Derby Day again. It's 1 1. Oh, it's a special finish to beat Alan McGregor from that angle. Game Rangers want to make sure they keep themselves in the in the, in the tie-in. Inside ten minutes, it's a poor, poor defensive setup. Brown, not by law. Brown keeps going. Chris Coleman shoots. Oh! oh, that's stunning! Utterly stunning from Chris Commons. That is why Celtic need to keep him. What a goal that was! It's two nothing. Liam, we were speaking about before the game. I just cannot understand how this guy's not been in the team more often. You know, and the last wee period, he's come back into the side, and it's no coincidence, as far as I'm concerned, that Celtic have hit form. And look at that. That's out of nothing. 
picks it up. Look here, Scott Brown getting on the second ball as well, keeping the ball in that area. Well played. One touch. No other thought in his mind other than having a shot on target. That is phenomenal strike. Roberts again. Sinclair's corner. Bradbelli makes the difference with a cracking header. Celtic strike first in the derby of derbies, and it had probably been coming. I think in his Aberdeen days. Beats on here for Dembele. First two in ahead of Senderos. It is Musa Dembele. Strong for Dembele. Sinclair not far away. Dembele finds Sinclair! Who continues his scoring spree. Brendan Rodgers and Celtic are back in the comfort zone on the hour. Come up the hour, come up the man, Scott Sinclair. Roberts, McGregor, Lustig. Rangers exposed and struggling to get back here. Dembele! He's done it! Moussa Dembele takes his place in old firm hat trick history. There's only been one team in town today. Celtic! Sinclair. Here's Tierney. Is there another one? There might be for Armstrong! here at the moment the situation will change one way or the other Wallace just losing Griffiths and it goes a loss for Celtic Dembele in the dying embers of the game an eruption of great Sinclair takes. Dembele! He has rattled that in! Will he certainly take it to the Glasgow Derby? It's his fifth goal against Rangers and Celtic are level! Roberts. Easily away from Mackay. And there's the switch. And there's the goal! For Scott Sinclair, the champions have turned it around, and that will really, really hurt Rangers. It's for Lustig and giving him that diagonal ball, should have been a better delivery. Jason Holt, miscued his clearance, Forrest, on straight! Stages of the game, as I mentioned, Celtic utterly dominant. Going with a long ball here, Dembele supported here by McGregor. Talk about laying down an early marker. Callum McGregor scores, and Celtic crucially have an early lead. He made it a race between the striker and the defender. 
This is one big kick for Scott Sinclair. He's done it! Just! Celtic are in a rush to reach the final now and to send their old firm rivals packing! See in Hampden last weekend. An early chance to do the same again at Ibrox. He loves a goal in this game, Scott Sinclair. Here he comes! Celtic appear ready to rub it in. They've got Rangers where they want them again, thanks to another Scott Sinclair penalty. Hyman. Armstrong releasing Griffiths. Sinclair waiting in the middle. Griffiths goes in alone, and that's why. Utterly ruthless, absolutely clinical from dead part player this season to dead part player. A stunning hit. Roberts feeding McGregor. Roberts, it's McGregor. Took his time, but got what he wanted. He scored against Rangers last weekend. He's just done it again. And the champions are putting on a show. Griffiths floated in. And it's found a way in. And Dedrick Boyata is having that one. It is 4-0 to Celtic. It is humiliating for Rangers. Lustig. To Celtic fancy a fifth. Mikel Lustig certainly does. What a tidy finish. A pulsating performance from Celtic. They have well and truly put Rangers in their place. Well, what a bit of quality this is from the right back. Could easily have laid it off. But Lustig's got the ability. Driving forward here on a loose ball. It's Lee Griffiths to take, Armstrong failing to flick it. Roberts. And it's put away by Tom Ruggett. He has provided the spark as he often does. It's a familiar story after all. Celtic have got Rangers where they want them. It's a loose ball, but the quality of the finish from Rogic is magnificent. I think it's Patrick Roberts at the edge of the box who tries to get a decent shot away. But that loose ball that falls to Rogic, wow, he finds the top corner, finds a bit of power behind it as well. That should have been cleared by either Cardozo or McCrory. Hodgson as well doesn't make a good enough challenge and it's just the power that takes it away from Fodderingham. Brilliant finish from Rogic, but Rangers should have defended it better. He loves a big goal in a big game at a big time. McGregor. Roberts. Griffiths has made his run. Here he is! Ruthless from Lee Griffiths. More reasons to be cheerful for Celtic and more reasons to be fearful for Rangers. Exquisitely executed. What, what a pass as well. Absolutely magnificent. And it came from Rangers trying to press high. But they get the break of the ball here with Lustig winning it, but look at the quality of this pass. McCrory, I think, is unaware of the threat of Griffiths, and he only needs one touch, because of the weight of that ball is perfect for Griffiths just to slide it inside Fodderingham. Time and time again, he does that first time. Forrest. Rogic takes over. And he's still going. Rogic! Spectacular! Sensational! Celtic wrist 
respond quickly and you just knew they might have that in them and you just knew Tom Rogic would have that in him he's a big game player isn't he Tom Rogic scores in cup finals scored here earlier in the season against Rangers this is much but his leap was the highest two minutes of stoppage time and here's the Dembele typical Celtic just refusing to budge and typical Dembele on Derby Day in Glasgow Willie Cullen has caught up and Kandias to book him it's 2-2 in an old firm classic the credit to Scott Brown here he's filled but look at the quality of the pass Alves is nowhere near it Cardozo can't get close to Dembele and Dembele's been starved of really good service but is he lets it Gregor. Dembele and he's found Edward and all of a sudden Celtic are advancing Edward Celtic are ahead for the first time and with 10 men keep your distance Rangers is the message from Celtic keep your distance absolute quality from Edward look at the pass here from Dembele on to his feet there driving into the box no one can get near him Dembele delightful take Forrest now and it's Rogic and it's a familiar story Tom Rogic has scored in all of his old firm games this season and Celtic are hoping that has set the tone on semi-final Sunday. Tierney. Tierney skips away from Candace. It's all a little too easy. The Rangers liking. And they have a second. And he likes to have a say on Derby Day 2. Callum McGregor and Celtic are in a rush to reach the final. It's all going the way of Brendan Rodgers, and we seem to say that quite a bit. Alan McGregor's third old firm goal. Here comes Moussa Dembele. Cute Moussa Dembele. Cute, clever, and about time he got in on the act. One way traffic all the way. Celtic swarming over Rangers. Progressing brilliantly. Edward is there. Celtic ahead already. They know what they have to do here, and they are doing it. Skidded on the Doran's boot. Forrest releasing Edward. Here comes Celtic again. Here Rangers giving the ball away and everyone is out of position. Tavernier's away forward. Halliday's away forward. Look at them here as they give possession away. Edward, simple move into the space for Kate. Touch from Murphy giving the ball away. Non-stop from Celtic this. challenges does he go through here or rather how many non-challenges does he go through here when this ball is worked out to Forrest he's got everything to do and now it's McGregor and he spread himself Tierney goes to ground and Rogic does get in on the out Tom Rogic is scoring Celtic are winning and that just about sums up Wonder if Rogic hadn't scored, well he has. 
and no surprise here. Well done, Anik, for keeping that out. Really sharp off the ball. That looked like a penalty to me. I don't think the referee's playing advantage, as he indicates there. I don't think he was going to give it, but as Tierney touches the ball here, after the shot... Edward, able to cross it! It's Callum McGregor this time! And Celtic hit the high fives against Rangers once more! It's the same old story of Derby Day, the Celtic rule, and Rangers will and wither! They are queuing up to score here, and no surprise again to see Callum McGregor in there. Look at this pass from... the sixth season final Mikey Johnson who drives forward again Johnson threads it through towards Orton Edward he stayed onside a chance for the Frenchman he's put it into the go. back of the net there and Celtic with 31 Later. minutes on the clock have a goal Orton Edward has scored for the champions fantastic play you know win the ball back slack pass on the right for Rangers Mikey Johnson driving in threads the pass through kill as you like from Edward well, Mikey Johnson, he still had a lot to do. Watson Edwards stayed onside. Well, when he went in the box, you're just thinking this is in the back of the night. He's so cool. He's another big game player and yeah. he's given Celtic a big yeah. game goal. I've seen him bearing down on McGregor there. I thought, is he taking it too close to him? But, as I said, cool as you like, underneath McGregor. Hands for Hayes, knocked it on. Here still Hayes, here comes Celtic. A chance for Johnny Hayes, the substitute. Can he score? Can he make it 2-0? Johnny Hayes... He scored! The Irishman has scored and Celtic have all three points! The players, the fans, the substitutes celebrate! What a goal! What an intervention! Celtic with all three points! Brilliant play, we've said that from the start of the second half. If we can win the ball quickly, we're a threat on the attack. Brilliant play from Hayes. Thought he'd missed the opportunity, it comes back to him and he rolls it into the back of the net. Brilliant. Well, an inspired substitution. Johnny Hayes will absolutely love that goal. The Celtic fans over in that corner are delirious. Just in case you weren't aware, it's blue seats at Ibrox because we can see quite a lot of them suddenly appearing now as a lot of the home fans have... Two men on him, but he still stepped away. And it's broken kindly for McGregor. He's taking the shot on. And in. A touch of fortune for Celtic. But they will take that. And it is a rapid response after all for the champions. Well, we thought it might have been a moment of magic. It's actually a bit of luck. McGregor fires the ball away. It comes off. Edward. Rangers are claiming it comes off his hand. It does come off his arm. Perfect pass for Edward. Immediate cross. And Elliot Lucy is there. And Celtic have 
the lead on Derby Day in Glasgow. And maybe they are planning a show of defiance. Credit Elia Nussi. My goodness, he's met it spot on. And gets it past McGregor for Celtic to make... Sends it in. Patate. Oh! He's got it scored again. After his wonder goal at Hearts. That is the way to start a derby. Rio Patate and Celtic have set a challenge for the champions. It's over to you, Rangers, now. From Celtic. O'Reilly has settled in superbly. Abada now, Hachate again! And again! What a start to his Celtic career! Celtic! Go 2 nil up! Hachate! Abada! It gets better! And better! And better! Celtic! McGregor, the captain. He's making really good progress. Terrific this from McGregor. And Rogic. It's blocked. Matate. McGregor saves. And Rogic has put it away. And how about that for a rapid response from Celtic? They are level. We've had two goals in the first seven minutes. This is going to be a special offer. Jota hoisting it in, Starfeld in there, and it's Cameron Carter-Vickers who has tucked it away. A frantic start to the half, a frantic end to the half, and the old firm pendulum swings the way of Celtic now. Let's go! 
there for Rangers, but Celtic haven't been able to add to their goal tally yet. Oh, mistake from McLaughlin, though. David Tobler accepts the gift. An absolute howler from McLaughlin. And it is party time in the place they call paradise. It's Celtic 4, Rangers 0. Well, it's a tall embarrassment for John McLaughlin. Kamara, Morelos, Lundstrom. Morelos, straight to Maida. And Dyson Maida finds a way through! That is how to start an old firm! Look at Morelos here. He sees Tavernier, but he's way off with the pass. But how is this? But I Here's Moy, Ryan Jack blocks it. Oh, and again, but will it fall here for Celtic? It will! It's Keo Go! Keo Go! Another late strike from Celtic to save the day. Tati. Now Moy. Taylor's in a good position. He's got men in the middle to aim for. One of them's Maeda. There's Kyogo. There's the separation. And once again, it's Celtics. Well, number eight from Japan, who has his say in the Five Play Cup final. It's taken its time, thanks to Kyogo. And it's just persistence from Celtic. Last three or four minutes have had some really good moves. Atati at the heart of everything. Pops the ball into Moy and attack to Taylor, and that's a wonderful ball. Really terrific spot. It was a good spot, however, the pass was Sakala all day down the line. McGregor, Moy, Atati beyond him. It's Atati across. Kyogo again. A double double in the final for Kyogo. Just be Celtic Silver Line Sunday. Oh, he was worth the risk, all right. It's Moy. Wonderful first touch, and Hatate's been everywhere, hasn't he? But you know, a lot of players there, Ali, to try and get a shot off themselves. Gets his head up, and Kyogo, the timing of his run, absolutely perfect again.